Hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. This is now. This is now the moment of truth. So, today's date is the 3rd of February 2024. And I am just about to do my first ever proper pruning of my roses. So, I am very, very nervous. Actually, I'm not um, quite excited about this task, but I'd like to take you along with me and show you how I am going to um, do this. So how I'm going to do this for the first time. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to do the last pruning. So I did um, the first pruning around December and now it's February and I thought it was going to be longer than, you know, a bit later on but actually i think um this is now actually the quite a good time to uh, start or do the pruning right now because as you will see later on when we get closer to all the roses that i'm going to prune this afternoon i don't know if i can do them all but i'll take you along with me so without further ado i'll start doing it now and i will try and explain what I am doing here, hopefully, it's going to be very basic and very um, amateur. But I hope by showing you how I am actually doing it, um, it's going to be a self-explanatory. Hopefully, you'll be able to see how I am going to prune this rose. Um, sincere apologies. Unfortunately, I'm the only one. So I'm doing this vlog on my own. So hopefully, you can still see what I'm doing here, okay? So let's start. So I'm starting to um, uh, do this first rose, which is my Jacqueline Dupre rose. Now, this particular rose has always been uh, quite an awkward growing one. What I mean by that is the shape of it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with its flower. In actual fact, I would say this is my number one favorite amongst my roses here in my garden. And then the next one is the Emily Bronte. But as you can see here, I feel <laughs> that this one is very challenging, um, particular roast for me to prune. As I have mentioned earlier, this is my first time ever doing proper pruning to all my roses here in my garden, okay? So previously, for the past three years, because these roses here that you can see, the ones that I'm going to pr prune this time are all three years old, okay? So, previously what I have been doing was I was just pruning them very, very lightly. And hence, I ended up having them growing quite tall. Now, there is nothing wrong with them growing tall. I quite like them um, growing tall anyway because it was giving or they were giving me plenty of blooms and flowers to enjoy. The only problem for me was I do not have enough stakes or a you know spare piece of wood or pieces of wood woods for me to use to support them. And hence, this is why I've realized that uh, I, I have been um, letting them grow quite, um, um, what would I say, widely, which I would love to, but, but um, for this scenario in my garden, for this situation, actually, um, I needed to give them proper pruning. And as I said, this is the first time I am trying this. So if so far you're watching this video and you find that this video is actually proving to be a waste of your time and is a bit boring to watch and not really informative for what you are looking for, please, please feel free to just stop now and don't um, continue to watch it, okay? I appreciate you um, clicking into this video anyway and just, you know, um, being interested to see what is this content all about? Apologies if you'll find this not as informative as you would um, have hoped to be. But as I said, I just like to take you along with me this time how I am going to try, try, and hopefully I won't actually kill any of my roses here. So, because the shape of this Jacqueline Dupre 
was awkward. I ended up just cutting the whole、um, shape of it as this. Okay, so just giving it a uniform height, and I'll show you in a minute why. As you can see here, okay. And I cannot see anything else to cut. Maybe this one. But honestly, this is really. I watch so many videos. I read so many articles and instructions on how to prune、uh, roses properly. But actually, is not. It is not as easy when you are actually doing it, because. <laughs> Um, my roses aren't growing uniformly, okay, and I I believe it was because how I have looked after them from the very beginning when I planted them in my garden, so this is why I ended up with this mess here, <laughs> and I'm just actually trying to hopefully amend it now, and going forward, I can start training them better. That one there. Can you see? So really, I should be cutting this because it's growing inwards. But I have no other choice because I can't see anything that grow that is currently, you know, a bud that is coming out of there. So I'm just going to leave that there for now because, as you can see, can you see the shape there? Okay, I think that's all. I'm what I'm going to do with this Jacqueline Dupre. Okay. Because as you can see, it has such a weird shape to it, and between you and me, <laughs> Jacqueline Dupre rose, I would say, is my favorite, my top one favorite rose here in my garden. She is number one, okay. And then the next one is Emily Bronte, but that's how she is, and I don't really want to upset her too much, so I'm going to leave her as she is, okay. So. The next one we're going to tackle is the lark ascending. Now, I think actually I have put the lark ascending here、um, quite inappropriately, actually, because it is a wild, tall, growing rose. Okay, the lark ascending from David Austin. Now, it's either I have to live with it, you know, and just try and cut her as short as I can get away with, or remove. The rose completely from this area, and so I decided to stick with the first、um, option. So I'll, I'll show you how she is. She is a very, very vigorous, vigorous growing rose. Look, look how. <laughs> look, 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 look. So many crossing stems that are crossing and rubbing against、uh, against each other. Okay. So I don't know how I'm going to actually、um, film this to make it, you know, for you to see it quite、um, detailed. I'll, I'll try my best. Okay. Can you see that there? That. That. <gasps> Can you see those there? So I am hoping I'm going to keep this one here because this looks healthy and it looks okay. But I'm going to. Remove this, remove this, and that one there. Apologies, some parts of this video is going to be like this, where I sped up the um the time it took me than actually how it was because I didn't realize that it was going to take me so long to actually do this task. So I hope you'll still find this enjoyable. Going to cut this particular、uh, lark ascending、uh, rose bush this height, okay? So I would say twelve, twelve inches, twelve in inches. Would you say? My approximation might be wrong, but okay, just cut it. So I find this particular one really tricky to tackle properly. I've actually decided to just cut them that shorter 
uniformly to make it easier for me. Okay, I don't know if you can see it better from this angle. Hopefully you can. Now, I just remember that I have this. Whether it's going to be of any use, I don't know. <laughs> um, right, okay. So, I need to remove this one here. Because as you can see, it's growing inwardly. And I can't see any reason why I should keep this one. Okay? Um, this one, I'm not too happy. And this one, I'm not too happy. So, I'm going to... I would say remove this here. And remove this here. So there you go. This one, I've also sped up i hurriedly changed the actual um uh how fast this video was actually going so hopefully you'll still find this um what i'm showing you right now still informative and kind of still showing you the details and as you can see here what i'm trying to actually achieve here is i'm trying to open up this particular rose okay because this one is actually a very very tall growing rose it's the lark ascending david austin and um i know i'm aware i made an error of how or where i actually planted it but i have no other option at the moment i'm too scared to um, remove it where it is and move it somewhere else so actually i've decided to keep this one where it is right now and just Hopefully, I'm going to try something, experiment. I'm going to try and train it to grow a bit shorter. And hence, this is how or why I am cutting it this hard, this particular one, okay? So as I mentioned earlier, most or all of my roses here that I'm showing you at the moment, apart from the timeless pink, oh no, actually timeless pink as well, they are all three years old, okay? So as you can see here, we're starting to see that, you know, uh, area in the middle where it's starting to open up. So I think I'm being really, really quite um, harsh and hard on this particular rose. But hopefully by giving it a tough love, hopefully I can, going forward, train it better. And as you can see here, can you see the stems where it's actually crossing with the other one? And so I'm trying to remove this. And you know what? I thought my um, secateurs were sufficient. But actually, I'm so, so thankful that I realized. And I remember that I actually have this hand um, saw that I'm using now. And it's so lovely. It's very, very useful. Um, <laughs> it, well, it is now. When I finally realized and uh, learned how to use it properly, okay? And can you see it now? It's looking better. It's looking more open now. And I've actually removed quite a lot of stems already. And you can see here, I'm removing the ones that are growing inwardly, like this one. Can you see? Okay, the next one now is... This William Lobb. Right. There it is. Now, I think this one is quite, quite okay. The shape of it. Can you see? Because this one is okay. And I think the only stem really that is out of, um, that is in the way and r ruining the shape of this uh, particular rose is this one here. So what I'm going to do is literally cut this down down to here and then that's it just tidy this up a bit more so so as you can see this one william lob is very very easy for me to prune because it's almost perfect all it needed it's just is just a little bit of tidying up as you can see right now what i'm going to do with this one i don't know why it's veering more towards this way but as you can see can you see the shape of the, um, it's like a, an open bowl, an open bowl. And I would say this one, um, 
Where is it growing? It's growing from there. So I might actually... I might remove this actually. So this particular one, I'm, uh, I actually decided to remove because it's growing right in the middle. But as I said, I still feel fortunate with this William Loeb because this is the only one that I need to remove compared to the Lark Ascending that I have just used up 100%, well, 99% of my energy already just tackling that one. But look how easy I am tackling this particular one. It's so straightforward. That's better. Okay. So that's more open. Can you see? It's more open. Because the other one was growing right in the middle. That's where I cut it in there. Okay. There you go. So with this one, I would say this is just as nice the shape of it. Can you see? Can you see how open it is? So literally, I'm just going to cut it down a bit so it's all more, more like a uniform. I'll do that now and show you. Now, I'm now just going to tidy it up. So as you can see, there's only this one here that's growing inwardly. The rest just need cutting down a little. So I've decided to give them a uniform height again. And as you can see here, now, I've just encountered this awkward stem that is growing like that. And I've decided to just cut them as they are. As you can see here, what I'm doing here. Because I am just unsure how to tackle that one. Can you see? This one, I'm doing the same. So just cutting them back as close to the main stem as possible. So hopefully when we get new growths from there... It's going to be holding or supporting the new growths stronger because it's closer to the main stem. And you can see here. So there we are. That's how it is. There you go. Now let's go. We've done three already. We'll go, I would say, three more. Timeless Pink, um, Empress Josephine, and Golden Celebration. So... Timeless Pink is not the David Austin rose, but the other two are. Okay, I'm going to attempt doing the Timeless Pink. Hopefully you can see what I am going to do with this one, how I'm going to prune it. And me not blocking the view of the camera. So. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to keep this here. Um, I might actually remove this. Okay, remove this one here. I'm going to keep that. Um, let me show you closer. This is what I'm on about. So I'm going to keep that one, as you can see. Okay. Now. There is that growth there already in there, okay? And as you can see, there's one in here as well. Can you see that one? But we have these sticks here, okay? The sticks. Now, what should I do with that? What should I do? I am tempted to actually remove this here and cut it down to here. Sincere apologies. I didn't realize that I actually, most of the time now, from this period, have been blocking the view from you on how, from how I am doing the pruning of these roses. So I hope you can still see what I am doing here, albeit I've been uh, in the way most of the time, as I said, from this point up to the end of this video. There you go. <laughs> Look how it is now. That's how she is. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on because I talk too much. I always, always talk too much in my videos. I'm making my videos so long all the time. In the video, I might 
get closer actually to show you so i'm thinking of cutting this one here you see this this okay this this down to there and keep this one here keep that there growing can you see so i'll completely cut this let me see if i can show you from this angle As you can see, so I decided to keep the other one, the new growth, growths, okay? Let me show you. That's where I cut it there. Can you see? And so, I can keep this new one, the green one. The other one was looking brown and sad. So. Now once again, as you can see here, really, honestly, I'm really sorry because I didn't realize that actually I've been blocking the view. But as I said, I hope you can still find this informative. Um, going forward, when I next um, record, when I do pruning of my roses next time, I will know how or what I've done wrong from this video and then take my lessons from there. And hopefully I can give you a better content next time. You know, something that is a bit more informative. But I just don't want to waste this um, time and opportunity actually to share this with you right now. Just in case you still, you know, enjoy this video, still enjoy watching it. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut this. Let me show you why I think I should cut it. It's growing from there. Can you see from there? And it's interfering with this one here. And I'd like to keep this one here, actually. So I'm going to cut that. Hopefully I can show you how I'm going to do it. There we go. Okay, It's all done. Impress Josephine. Ta -da! Now, what do you think of it? <laughs> I think it's rubbish. What a how I've done it. But we shall see. Okay. So we've got five roses so far. Let's do the um, golden celebration now. Actually, let me show you closer how they look. Okay, that's how they are. In there golden celebration now i can see the quick solution to this one is actually to do how exactly i have cut my lark ascending a while ago so just cut it because it's too too messy so right at this moment i'm trying to cut completely from the bottom right at the bottom this thick quite uh, a spiral stem which I'm going to show you in a minute. Ta da! Look at that. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> what is this? I think I'm going to. I'm going to remove this here. This one here. Okay, this here, this, because it, oh, it is overlapping, overlapping this one, and this one is stronger than this one, so I'm going to keep this one, but remove this from the main, okay? Now, I find, I think it's probably because my secateurs need sharpening as well, they need sharpening soon. Or maybe because some of the stems of my roses, because they are now three years old in a bit, they've grown quite thick. And as I said, because I've been pruning them lightly, which means the ones that are growing from the bottom have already been growing quite well. And so, as you will see here, 
you'll see me struggling, trying to cut them using my um, secateurs. But in a minute, I will try and use my lopers to cut some of them. But I haven't had any really real success using my lopers either. Now, I suspect it's probably, it's because of me, how I've been using it. I, I think I'm still yet to master the art of using lopers and secateurs properly. Look at that. My camera is so difficult to use. It's not focusing at all. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut below that damage, okay? So I'm going to cut down to here. I'm going to saw it from this angle here. So there we have it. If you are still with me right at this point, thank you so, so much for keeping me company. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, <laughs> I'm afraid, however, that I will need to end this video now because I've used up so much of your time already. We are almost running towards 29 minutes. So rounding it up, it's almost half an hour. So I'm going to just finish cutting this golden celebration rose and no. i am unsure whether i should I cut, this cut or include when i cut my roses to include the second part the remaining of my roses because i still have the shepherdess um, emily bronte cotton candy uh, silver jubilee meal on the floors peace lily mom in a million golden wedding celebration and uh, dame judy dench and my other roses in the pots but i am unsure yet whether i should make another video to show show or share that with you i don't know you probably had enough just watching this one we'll see you'll see it in my channel if i have decided to do so anyway as i said thank you so much for keeping me company i hope you have found this more or less informative in a way i know it's not professionally done and i wasn't able to explain it you know really well how i've been doing it the terminology but i'm hope hopeful that just by showing you how i've done it it will be a little bit of a self-explanatory maybe so i hope to see you again next time as you can see here look at the amount of rose stems that i have actually cut i know i've already cut some from december and i don't know if you've seen that video as well but i've already cut loads but you can see here there's still loads that i have managed to remove anyway i hope to see you again next time have a lovely day take care and bye bye for now